So today I'm driving the 2016 Ford Edge Titanium. So here's the exterior of the car. Uh, it's a typical looking SUV. It does have some nice uh, features to it. Some nice silver inlays on the door handles. Uh, the lights in the back are, are fairly crisp. Um, it's a good looking car, all in all. What I really think is impressive is the amount of cargo space you get in the back. I mean, look at this. This is enormous. There's no third row seat in this car, but uh, you do get a push button that allows you to control it uh, to close. And there's also another one on the key fob itself. So here's the key fob for the car. Pretty simple looking. Just a couple of buttons on the front. And here's what the car looks like when you start it up. Push button start. The interior is pretty nice. I mean, this is full leather, and if you look at the back seat, uh, there is plenty of space for adults, including some pretty sizable leg room. Uh, I have the seat pushed back pretty far, and the seat is, is even reclined a little bit, and I think uh, someone six feet or more could easily sit in the back. So this is the view from the driver's seat. Uh, this is really a nice setup. The steering wheel not only adjusts up and down, but you can also telescope it in and out, which is really nice to make it comfortable. You have two heads-up displays next to the speedometer, over here with the fuel gauge and over here to interact with uh, some of the entertainment features. And both of them are easily uh, controlled through two sets of keys right here. You also have your standard buttons to control your cruise control and uh, interact with uh, the phone and the volume for the center console. Lock buttons on the side with three different settings for the seat. Uh, buttons for the windows and the mirrors. The turn signal and the windshield wiper uh, controls feel really nice. I did like the windshield wiper. Check this out. It opens up and out as opposed to the standard left and right. So here's the center console. I really like the look of this. It's very crisp. There's not a lot of wasted space. Um, it's very easy to interact with the volume button. You have dedicated climate controls down here. One thing though that I didn't like about the climate control is that if you want to shift the fan from blowing just from the top to also blowing on the bottom or doing both, you have to interact with the touch screen. So you got to go here to climate and then you gotta go and select it right here. It's not a big deal after I learned how to do it, but doing it while you're driving is a little bit distracting. Right, one of my favorite things to check on a car, uh, especially when it comes to design, is how easily can I fix the clock? So right now it's off by an hour. Let's see how fast I can figure this out. Uh, I'm gonna try settings. Look at that clock right there. Push button for the hour. Settings to get out. Nice. Gear shift feels good. There's a switch right here in the front. Everything slides really nicely. You have a, a button rather than a, a lever for the parking brake. I'm not a huge fan of this, but it's right where the parking brake usually is, so I like that. Two pretty large cup holders, and then a nice modular uh, center unit with uh, plenty of room to store things. I'll, let me show you how deep this is. It goes way, way down on the top of the dashboard you can see it here you have an additional storage space right here it's not super deep but there's plenty of space in there and there is also another compartment up here on the top there and then standard buttons to control things like the overhead lights and there's also additional storage right here um, behind the gear shift when it's closed it looks really sleek and nice to open it up and then you have uh, two USB connectors and a fairly deep, uh, look at how deep, my whole hand goes in there, uh, container for whatever you want to store in the center console. So that's the 2016 Ford Edge Titanium. I like this car. Thanks for watching. I will catch you in the next one.